Welcome back to the second half of the show. You're Welcome tuned back, in to the Drive Time Show with myself, Nish and... Ash. And, and we've got... we have MC Special on the line today. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, we're good, thanks. How are you? Good, good, thanks for having me on. I do apologise first, I couldn't actually come to the studio and I'll blame myself for it. So, um, by all means, you can blast me for it. <laughs> oh, no, don't worry, that's fine. As long as we've got you here on air today. That's fine. It goes good, lad, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, firstly, did you have a good Christmas? I did, actually. Actually, from what I remember, yeah, it was really good. A uh, lot of junk food, um, <laughs> but yeah, it was quite good actually. Desi turkey, as they say. <laughs> what, what's the desi turkey? Desi turkey. turkey. Well, instead of putting a uh, normal English stuffing, is you put a bit of chicken Dance in, a bit of tandoori. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Well, I don't do it myself, yeah, but yeah. You stuffed it with spice. Do you put leftover, like, Indian food, or do you make it especially for the turkey? No, you make it especially. Wow. Go get the desi fuel. That is legit. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So, have you got anything planned for New Year's Eve? Uh, what I have plan to use? Um, well, during the day, I'm going to spend it with family and stuff, and really? then in the evening, um, performing, where am I? Uh, State Pavilion in East London. Oh, OK, just down the road yeah. from us. Ah, OK, yeah, so I'm down there for, I'm um, spending New Year's Eve down there, um, nice. performing with all Mumsy and all the rest of them, so yeah, looking forward to it. Oh, cool, that'll be fun. Mm -hmm. So, your new album is out now, still special. Yeah, that's right. But before we get into that, I just want to ask, how did you get the name MC Special? I knew it. I was going to wait. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, let me see how many interviews I can get away without that name that question coming. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, there is, there's nothing about me that I think I'm special. But what the reason behind it is, I've done it about 10 years ago, and the reason behind it was, well, I thought, well, if we're going to go into the media eye and it's publicity at the end of the day, the way I look at it is you're an entertainer. And if there's anything you can get people to talk about, if it's negative, if it's positive, and very easy for people to remember, I thought, well, let's call myself something special. Last name was called something special with the album, and I thought, what can we name the new album? I said, well, label name was, so let's be cheap. It's called it still special. So let's do it. Oh, that's, that's very cheeky. That's all it is. That's all it is behind it. A marketing tool, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, no. It is quite cool. So how's the response from your new album? The album's been crazy. Um, if one day it came out, it came out 15th. Uh, what well, was done well. It went into number one on iTunes. We yeah. just released a video on YouTube a week ago. It's hit over 50,000 views. Yeah, definitely. Wow, that's um, one of them, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> and yeah, it's crazy. We're going, I'm going off to India in uh, February, uh, followed by Canada to release the album across there as well. Uh, the love's amazing, you know. Um, I never expected to come out with another album to follow up to something special. The market's changed big time, but it's positive thoughts to me. You know, it's only been sort of two weeks since the release. And it's kind of crazy. So you're planning to release in India as well as Canada then? Yeah, and Pakistan as well. Yeah, uh, last album was released there as well. Um, so I'm shooting off down there to uh, release the album there. So. How was it when you like released your album over there last? It was amazing. When I well, Vancouver's got a massive following. I've got there. I was yeah, only there right. in November. Um, and I've got back from there. It, it's good. Um, they're still behind our state. They still stay about four years behind Bongo Music, I always say. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully no Canadians listening, but yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, it's good, you know. It's crazy for someone to be born and bred from UK for your music to travel all abroad, uh, which I never thought it would happen. And to have it there is crazy, especially like, I know India going to Mumbai and stuff, you know. It's just crazy, you know. You should go clubbing and stuff, but for people to hear it, it's just like, whoa, you listen, really listen to my music. Like, yeah, yeah, it must make you feel good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> it must make you feel special. <laughs> <laughs> Only slightly. <laughs> so what made you want to make another album? Well, to be honest, I've always... Well, it's one of those things, you know, music now, I'm never going to stop music. I'm always creating stuff. And then I'm tied with VIP Records, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so we just came into the idea of working the album. The next thing I know, I put, like, 14 tracks. I was like, right, we've got some in there. 10, I was like, well, we're going to release an album. And I said, OK. It's strange, you know, but I, I said it before as well about people with interviews and stuff. You know, the market since my last album has changed over the last four years. You know, everyone's relying on iTunes, you know. Before, it was, like, original hard copies and stuff, you know. Yeah. And I personally believe it's, it's all fair and well people releasing singles and stuff, but if you really put men's and effort in it and release an album, there's yeah. a lot of time and dedication into it, and I don't think really people appreciate it, you know, because at the end of the day, okay, it's the tracks behind it, it's the artwork behind it, it's putting the stuff together, it's the mastering, the mixing, the video shoot. There's a lot of time and effort put into it, you know, and I think personally, if you actually physically got that hard copy in your hand, that's what you achieved is what I thought, because... Everything else is sort of MP3, you know? But yeah. it's a benefit in one way as well. You can look at it worldwide, you know, people don't have access to Congra albums. But it is, you know, piracy is still there. People are still doing their downloading and yeah. stuff, you know? So um, 
But it's still good, you know. It's still put, uh, it's put love in it. We've got loads of stuff happening, you know, from the label. You know, we've got uh, this new guy called Ali Abbas. Marnie's mm-hmm. album's coming out. We've got, we've got a track from there. We've got a new guy called AV. We've got stuff from there. So next year's just going to be crazy, man. So, yeah. So where we can, can people buy your hard copy from? Hard copy album, I have to say, I was only notified yesterday as well. Because of the Christmas and the delays and stuff, the passes have been a bit delayed. Mm-hmm. They'll be out tomorrow in all the UK shops. And it's on iTunes. And VIP are actually distributing it worldwide as well so if anyone wants to deliver they can't be bothered to go sh- into the shops like me you know i do online shopping yeah. they can actually uh, sort of dispatch it and it gets dispatched to your house yeah oh wicked so um let's talk about your videos that you've done mm-hmm. for your your last release which was in Narpucho. Mm-hmm. so how was it filming that in um spain uh, and on the airplane you had like uh, a little crash as well I saw that. <laughs> i'm surprised how we got away doing it on an airplane before we would get caught but no one said nothing to us oh so, so it was, right. uh, that was secretive yeah secretive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because i noticed the people around you were sitting down and yeah. the <laughs> actress were like only the ones that noticed the crash <laughs> Yeah, you know, it was good, you know. Um, I look, at the end of the day, look, people are shooting their videos. People, everyone, every individual artist doing their own thing. Um, yeah. And I just want to do something different at the end of the day, you know. I've released seven videos, you know, and I've got another three more coming. And I just want to do something different, you know. Yeah, some people will like it, some people won't. At the end of the day, music like fashion. Some people like something they wear, some people won't. It definitely is a my industry, yeah. Yeah, and I just said, you know, I just said, well, look, let's go abroad and shoot something. So we ended up going to Spain in Gran Canaria. And we <laughs> shot there, yeah. It was really hot. It was, I was quite fortunate, actually, because I actually had... Um, <laughs> I didn't put no suntan lotion on, you see. And then when it came to the last day, I think, what's happened to my mother? And I was like, right, I could be in sunburn. <laughs> but lucky enough, everything was shot by then. Oh, <laughs> lucky. Good. You should make sure you should put sunscreen on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially over there, it's like... But, uh, you don't really feel it was that, actually. But no, I loved it. It was an amazing experience, you know. Um, to go to Grand Canary and shoot it, um, and then yeah, the ending part was the shooting, you know, like the plane was missed down. Because you know, it was the other day, it's not even me that put all this to behind it, it's the choreographers, people behind it, you know, I want to pick up Blaze, I want to pick up BQ Media, there's a lot of people behind it, it's not only me that's yeah. doing everything myself, you know, VIP Records, there's everyone behind it came up with the ideas. Um, yeah, so that was it, and it was just like the follow up was the whole point was to be follow up to the um, album Still Special and the Arsha Corgia track which is a follow-up video to the night culture when the plane crashes. Yeah, you saved the girl. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so I tried to, but yeah. Was that, um, but it's filmed, it filmed in the same area as well? That was done in Grand Canaria, and it was done in Dubai as well with the sand parts of the islands as well. That was, I don't think I'll never find the hardest shoot I've ever done because it was mad. The water park being in a suit and people watching thinking, what the hell are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> it was mad. Um, no, it was good. It was a good shoot. Loved it. It was even like in a desert part of the stand, you know, the ending part, you got the fire part. We have to wait until it got dark. Mm-hmm. And then when it got dark, unfortunately, there's no lights to direct you back onto the main street. So we're no in the middle of no man's. Yeah, it was really good. You pull your torches out. Yeah, we could hear the waves of the water and think, right, we're getting too close oh, to no. the water now. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, no. So did you uh, carry on having like a holiday in Dubai? Were you just there for a little um, for uh, no, a video shoot? Only, only four days, unfortunately. Oh. I would have to be there for longer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So what's your next video or song that you're going to release from the um, album? Well, the next one is going to be, it's a uh, track number four, uh, Ali, featuring Ali Abbas and AV, a track called Ranja Sadave. Um, we're still in talks. I'm actually shooting off to Birmingham um, after this to actually decide what we're going to do. I'm thinking of going maybe Turkey. Mm, uh, that's, that's different. That definitely is. Not yeah, I want to do something it. in the dark, you know, the dark with sunset sort of thing. But I don't know. We're still thinking it's early days. Um, yeah. And then after that, I've got another video coming out with Arshuk, which is track number five video. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then in the, in the meantime, and then the next time, you're going to have Monkey's album out, and I've got a track called it called Tension. Which is it? Why is it? If you're successful in music, fashion, clothes, whatever, there's all be haters. Yeah. Um, and what happens after? And yeah, my mate AB comes up with his album. We've got a track on there, and there's a mixtape coming out as well. So, it's like so who else is featured on your new album? New album itself, we've got Just Winter the Garmia, I've got Monarchy, uh, who else did I mention? I mentioned Become Cinder Nine, uh, who else is on there? I've got Lekaka Beniwala, mm-hmm. uh, Ali Abbas, who's a new signing. If you listen to track number four, he is. I think 2012 is going to be his year. Yeah. Uh, amazing vocalist. Um, he's on it. I'm uh, trying to think who else to put on it. I've got uh, Jujit Rani from India as well. Uh, I've got Face Black on there. He's done an R&B track. So Thanks, I've done, I've tried, yeah, I've tried a bit of everything, you know. Um, it's difficult when you put a track out, an album out with 11 tracks to think which, you know. Oh, sorry, I've got JD from there as well. So um, okay. I love <laughs> the mixer. A party track, your Desi track, a bit of house tracks. 
No, it's got a flavour of everything. So how long did that take for you to put that all together? The album itself, uh, about a year and a half, close to two years. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so, um, you know, it, it took a while uh, because there's a lot of stuff to it, you know. you got to then, it's not then that you've got an album ready, you know. It's ready and when you sign for VIP Records and there's loads of other artists on there as well, you know. So everyone's got to have their vote for when an album's going to be coming out. Um, so, yeah, there's loads of stuff coming for VIP Records in the next sort of 12 months, so watch out for that. Wicked. Now, 2012 does sound like a big year for a lot of people and obviously you guys are doing your thing. So, con- so well done to you guys and good luck for everything. In yeah, the, in the I, I always year. done it as well, you know. I Even though I've released the album sort of two weeks before going into 2012, yeah. the whole point is, is the way we decided to do it was it's an actual album taking it into 2012. Okay, so yeah, I still sense. think it's sort of early days at the moment. So, yeah, we yeah. see what happens, man. It's a lot of love. Um, the, the media company behind me, VQ Media, done a wonderful job. Joe, you know, thanks to Chaz, you got Nish, Lot, everyone, News Down Radio, doing a wonderful job as well. Oh, Wicked man, thank cheers. you. No, your album does sound great, and I'm loving your two new songs from there as well. Thank you. Yeah, we love it. We love a dance floor song, don't we, Nish? Yes, definitely. Me and Ash always dancing away. <laughs> <laughs> But um, we want to play a little game with you now because it's like the Christmas festive season. Yeah, so we thought, you know what, everyone gets together, we play games. And this game is called The Phoebe because you might recognise this game from... Friends. From Friends, yeah. In one episode, a Phoebe... Fa- a Phoe- everyone played the game, I think. I think Joey played it with... Chandler. Chan- Chandler yeah. as well. And um, so we thought we'd play it with you. <laughs> okay, I'm really sad I have to say I don't watch Friends, but I ain't got a clue what you're talking about, okay. so I'm going to go with it. That, you know what, that's even <laughs> okay. better. Maybe even, even better. <laughs> it's called The Fire Round. Yes. Okay. Phoebe's fire round, and basically all you have to do is choose which one you love more. Okay. I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions, a bunch of like I'm going to give you two options in each question, and you just name the one, the one you prefer. The first okay. one that comes to your head. You, have to, you yeah. can't have time to think about it. You have yeah, to you answer can't. really, really quick. You, I'll, you can't. I'll leave five seconds. No, no, no. no that's too long. That's too long. Five seconds. <laughs> it could be here all day. <laughs> no. one, one second. Yeah, okay. it's honest. I'm going to give you two options. So the first one that comes into your mind, because that's the only way it's going to work. Otherwise, you choose and, and stuff. It doesn't really work. Okay, cool. Okay, on. We can. okay so oh, right, are you go. ready? Have you cleared your mind? Are Let's you relaxed? You have to be relaxed, okay? Like, I'll maybe relax. in a chair. Okay, okay cool. That's the lead. Let's go. Which one do you prefer, Chinese or Indian? Indian. Bears or spirits? Bear. London or Birmingham? London. Female fans or male groupies? Uh, uh, ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> next, 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 next. Hotels and motels? Uh, hotels. Pitbull or Neo? Neo. Neo. Kebabs or samosas? Samosas. Converse or vans? Savan. <laughs> Lembert <laughs> or Jazzy B? Uh, Jazzy B. Hip hop or R&B? R&B. Salads or cakes? Sorry? Salads or cakes? Uh, cakes. Pink or blue? Blue. DJ H or DJ Rags? Uh, DJ H. Flowers or a ring? Uh, a ring. Uh, bath stuff <laughs> or fluffy socks? Fluffy socks. <laughs> Sleep or gym? Gym. Ash or Nish? Uh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, yeah. You meant to say Nish. You meant to yeah, say look me. at him being yeah. really, Obviously, he's going to He's going to text me later on and be like, yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> I'll tweet you that I'm saying. I don't know what yeah. <laughs> But thank you very much for being on the show. It's, no it's been great having you. And good thanks luck. Thanks for playing, everyone. You know, thanks for you guys supporting and thanks for all your listeners supporting me over the last eight years. It's a long, been a long journey and the journey will hopefully will continue. Loads of things lined up for 2012 and go and grab the album support, man. And thanks for you guys, man. Thank you for talking to us today and we definitely no hope to see you here in the new Sound Radio soon. When have you got Brilliant. time, you know? When have you got time? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in your busy schedule. <laughs> but no, good luck with the album release and um, good luck with New Year's Eve as well. Thanks a lot. Take care. Cheers. Bye. 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 <laughs> So, big thank you to MC Special. Big shout out to him, the man himself, talking about what he's doing in 2012. And he's got a lot planned, don't you think, Nish? Yeah, he's a very busy guy. Loads yeah. of albums, singles, mixtapes. Yeah, a lot of collaborations. And yeah. So, good luck to you. And this is his, one latest, of his new songs. Yeah, this is his latest track, Arshik Horgia. So, check it out, guys.